we getting this awareness that destroying our ecosystems has impact on our natural capital, on our social capital, and even on our business itself. This workshop is building on that. How can we expand that awareness, bring it to more people, and really start moving and acting on it? Dream big, bring your ideas. Nothing is small, nothing is big enough. Nothing is wrong or nothing is right. When you hear somebody saying something, acknowledge it, go with it, think big. When farmer decide to restore his land, he must change the management plan of his land, so sometimes it leads to a loss of income. There's still no economy behind it that makes it sustainable, so that farmers can say that, okay, now we have income from the land. So we need to think of a different way of how the economy can work. We need to think of what other income streams can we generate from a place like this. This workshop that we're currently attending is bringing all the stakeholders together. What you find here is farmers talking to international people, talking to government officials, talking to all the different stakeholders. And in, in modern societies, we, we often don't do that. I think Bobby's group is needing a holistic approach to this whole matter. Take the agencies, we take it out to a mill and we supply it to all the poor men. You need to have a strategy that actually evaluates what kind of guests are going to be coming through, how many are possible in the long term. Introduce the permaculture to show people how to look after themselves, how to create food, how to look after your soil, and to environment. The research taking place as of July, we will be starting with the data collection, we started getting information. Living Lands have done amazing groundwork over the past seven years in building relationships and building trust. There's so much ideas and brain power and energy in the community and, and the local stakeholders already. We've seen how the farmers are opening up. They confess by themselves that it has been a difficult process of almost transforming their own thoughts and allowing other people into their space. We, we appreciate what you do and the other people, because we can't do it. We, we, we are, uh, the wonder we really do not, we are actually commercial farmers in a way. There's a realization amongst the local landowners here that maybe there's a way of doing this. It's becoming clear that they are ready to move forward and that they actually want to. And it is great to see all the people around us who want to help us in getting a few steps forward. So the wave is behind me and now we must learn and try to, to serve this wave. We must take ownership of all the, the ideas and the problems and the challenges that, 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 that this area offers us. We all have to make this a success, this story, uh, um, if, if we want people to survive in the landscape. It inspires a lot of hope, uh, not only for the area, but for other initiatives in South Africa. If we can get this done here, it's a giant leap forward for South Africa and, and our development efforts. We can learn a lot from this.